Hey guys, you know, players here bringing you guys another video today. It's going to be Masketeers part four of this series. Guys, thank you so much for all the support on this series so far. I know it's only been a couple episodes, but you guys have been absolutely loving it. And I honestly, it's been hard to wait to make these videos uh, because I've just been enjoying the game so much right now. And it feels really similar to Tap Titans 2, but it's just a different twist on everything. And I'm really, really loving it so far. But I just logged on, watched all the ads for the lazy cat there or whatever. Um, and then I doubled our sparks. We're at 421 billion sparks at the moment, but I don't know what just popped up during the orb royal event orb fever mode will be available tap on the icon to activate it now okay so we, oh my goodness okay so we just want to make as many pairs let's go let's just go ham here um i'm not really going to be sweating for uh three orbs but let's just go ahead like a, a big chain let's just try to go ahead and get um all the chains of two and stuff like that out of the way here um oh my goodness this is crazy i didn't even know that this was uh, like events like this Okay, we're running we're running out of orbs here let's go ahead and try oh oh wait there is a time limit i was trying to look around for a time limit but there wasn't a time limit um answer your name keep in mind that any offensive oh uh, yeah 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 let's go ahead and put uh e-dog plays there we go so it looks like that was like a timed event and i didn't really realize it uh we got 19th so far so we are in wow okay so it looks like we may be getting a rare mask and 10 dust look at the top guys 2900 compared to 900 okay can you do it multiple times uh, maybe you could do it, oh every 15 minutes okay that makes sense i was gonna say how did he get 2900 in one run uh that must be the phantom bandit that the trader of the fates mentioned defeated to receive the fate tokens i totally forgot about that that at stage 55 we were gonna go ahead and get the um uh, this bandit the special bandit so we can receive fate tokens here we need to just level up our heroes you know what that that's exactly what we need to be doing here level up our heroes yeah four chain okay and level all these guys up as much as we can we're just not doing enough damage at the moment let's go shrink that oh we defeated it oh sweet we we had to blow a ton of money there not really blow money but we had to spend a lot of money to go ahead and get it to where uh we can actually defeat them uh let's go like this let's make those three chains there uh, if we take a look, Titan is now level 9. I did level him up. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't level him up off camera, but we got him to level 9 right now, which is absolutely insane. So we can go ahead and do a couple upgrades here. So I think what we're going to do, let's work on the right side here. So this is going to be Provoke. Uh, when Titan's HP is above 70%, there is a 20% for him to taunt enemies into attacking him. Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and do that one. Let's go ahead and uh, upgrade that one. Oh, there's more. We have multiple. Oh my goodness. So overwhelming force each time a power orb is used titan has 50 percent chance to stun a random enemy for five seconds again that's using the orb so that means i have to click so i don't want to use those ones as much titan recovers oh yeah so this is going to be he's recovering hp every single second let's do a couple into there now getting 0.6 percent of his total hp recovered every single second which is a really really powerful if you think about it so i'm glad that we did a couple upgrades on there let's go ahead and use that pet um, let's go ahead and take a look here. We got Guardian of the Wealth. We can go and upgrade. We got Guardian of Fortunes. We can go and purchase. I don't think we've ever had this before. Oh, we did. Team Critical Hit. 25% now of uh, Team Critical Hit there. Let's go ahead and collect that uh, there. We got another pet one that we can go and send off there. We got another uh, ultimate that we're going to go and send off there. Uh, we got two new masks here. There's so much going on right now. We got two cane masks. Let's go ahead and collect those if we go ahead and take a look at uh k now if we take a look at the mass so we do have a couple uh they're basically the exact same one well this is going to be a lower multiplier than what this one is so i'm actually going to go and destroy both of them um doesn't even really matter what their sub bonus or whatever that i think they called it uh was if their their multiplier is lower so we're getting we're doing less damage and having less health if we equip any other mask um so i'm definitely glad that we're going to go and keep that one there we got keen edge of four um, so this is awesome. So we can go ahead and get now four chains, which was one of our achievements, actually. One of one of our challenges. Um, oh, goodness. We got another mask here that we're going to have to go and open up here. Uh, we got a Coro mask. Awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at Coro here and see if that one is worth using. Lower multiplier again. So we're going to go ahead and destroy that one. Those are just common masks. So they're uh, not, not too good anyways. But if we take a look, where's our daily achievements? Not there. Right here. Sorry, not daily, but our quest. So now we can actually go ahead and get activate four, uh, activate orb chains of four or higher, hundred times. We actually can start working on this because now we have two masketeers that actually can chain up to four orbs, which is really cool. But we need to top uh, five hundred or one hundred and eighty falcon orbs, and we need to do use wisp orbs 
15 times. So we have a couple that we can uh, that we need to continue to do. But let's try to let's try to do a four chain attack here. Let's go like this. We got a four chain attack. Awesome. When you activate an orb chain, a four higher special orb will spawn. The special orb bringing uh, bring benefits such as granting you sparks, spawning orbs, and more. Awesome. It's going to use that. Power orbs deal more damage. Use them well to take down tougher enemies. Okay, so we're going to go and use that. Wow. Okay, so one hit that guy. I mean, we're one handing most of these guys anyways, but let's go ahead and use that one as well. Awesome. Okay, so doing a four chain is definitely going to be worth it. We don't have it unlocked for all the heroes just quite yet, but we can go and get Koro. There we go. Getting up to four and Pixie. All of them can now do four chains, which is awesome. <coughs> so let's go ahead and do uh, the skill point or whatever we call them, I guess. Uh, for Kane here, we can go ahead and do either increases Kane's attack speed when auto attacking the same enemy. That one's going to be useful for the higher up enemies that, you know, obviously don't get one hit. So that one's interesting. Increase Kane's damage to bosses and bosses spark drop chance. Yeah, let's go and do this. Increasing the, you know, the bosses are going to be where we're struggling the most. So increasing the damage against bosses, I think is going to be the best way to go. Let's go ahead and try to do another four chain here. There we go. We spawn that special orb. We're going to use his ultimate there as well. Awesome pudding in some work um so now let's go ahead and do some level ups as well as many as we can here we got the same thing for coral we can go ahead and choose one more point or spend a point here after activating anthem of inspiration three orbs of spawn this one like i said isn't amazing but we do need to start leveling it up to unlock the the further ones here but we need to get it to level 10 anyway so let's go ahead and do this one again when coral is above 90 percent hp armor of all masketeers increased by now 44 percent so this one's definitely going to be better than this one in my opinion because i'm not always activating her ultimate you know what i mean if i am great but i'm not always activating her ultimate so i'm, I'm liking uh upgrading different things for sure let's go like that let's try to get another four chain here for this guy go ahead and use that and uh, oh i thought uh, that would have been a five chain but let's go ahead and use that we got that special orb just absolutely smashing it here. And we get to splash through as many stages here as we can. Two waves and a decent amount of money there. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. We got Guardian of Power. We can go ahead and increase. We got Guardian of Vigor. We can go ahead and increase. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We got two cores that we can actually go ahead and hatch. Uh, two new ones, Glitter and Sparks. If we take a look here, this is going to be 5% more Sparks, 5% more scar Sparks. But when you activate it, we get 300% more Sparks. Um, activate 10 Masketeer Orbs grants 50 Sparks per Activator Orb. You know what? Let's go ahead and equip this one instead of that one. I think that one's going to be a little bit better, getting us 300% more Sparks. Uh, sounds like it could be very, very powerful indeed. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that 4 Chain Attack there. Use the Ultimate as well. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, we got the Wooden Chest I'm going to go ahead and open up, getting us a Mask and what else? A Mask and two Runes here, different Runes. We've got a Mask for Pixie. Let's go ahead and take a look at Pixie here. We got, uh, we can throw in a rune for her at 7% team HP, but we do have, ooh, so if we go ahead and can we actually combine them? Oh, no available runes to fruit, so you can't use ones that are level two, I guess. So let's go ahead and equip that one there for you. Uh, but let's go back. You did unlock a new mask here. So now we have three masks for P Pixie. I'm actually equipping the worst one. 6% uh, revive time. Ooh, that doesn't sound very good revive time you know what i really like the one that we currently have equipped uh 10 critical chance yes it is going to be a small you know what i think we have to i think we have to equip this one just because the multiplier overall is going to be better uh so let's go ahead and sell the rest of these or destroy the rest of these i know revive time isn't amazing but you're getting way more damage and way more uh health from equipping that mask instead so definitely gonna go ahead and go with that one there uh we do have a oh we could throw no why are you talking about throwing a rune Oh, we have a uh, 7% team HP. We can go and throw in there. Awesome. Uh, masks. Okay, so the one that we have there, we're going to go ahead and disenchant this one. Get us a little bit more dust. They're currently sitting at 7 dust now. Not doing too bad there. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get a couple more chain attacks in there. Let's go and do a couple more level ups. Get these guys up as high as we possibly can. Uh, next time, we'll go and do that. But we got a mask for Pixie, like I said before. Oh, oh yeah, we already looked at that. Never mind. So we have one more point that we can go ahead and spend on Pixie's abilities here. So we can either do whatever a Masketeer draw, uh, dodges. Pixie tosses a dagger. Uh, yeah, so that one's okay. This one's after every 13, now uh, 12 attacks. Pixie throws a fan of daggers. I like that one. Even less attacks uh, for her to throw a fan of daggers, which do 20% additional damage. That one's not bad as well. So let's go ahead and do a couple more upgrades on everyone there. Let's go ahead and use that pet there. I believe this is the... 300% more sparks. So let's go ahead and try to get a couple chain attacks in here or there. 
There we go. We are on stage 69 at the moment, so we actually can go ahead and transcend again. I don't know how much further we should get. I think let's get to 70, see if there's any new milestones or anything like that. Then let's go ahead and do a transcend. Um, I will watch this after uh, Kindle. Or we'll go ahead and get one of these. I'll watch the video for that after. But we haven't spent any crystals on this game yet. And I was thinking maybe we should start spending them. I don't know what exactly to spend them on. So if you guys have any suggestions on what I should spend, uh, the crystals that I have in the shop, leave a comment down below. I'm really curious to know what is going to be the best ones to go ahead and upgrade here. So let's go ahead and try to defeat this boss here. We got a four. One is there. We can go ahead and use giving us some special orbs and stuff like that. I, I mean, this should be fairly easy, to be honest with you. Uh, we got that. There we go. Stage 70, you guys. Absolutely insane. We're smashing it right now. So you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and do another transcend. I think it's going to be good uh, because we'll hopefully get another relic. So there is 36 relics. I just looked. Um, oh, a divine transcend costs 150 crystals. Or we could do a normal transcend getting us half the amount of arcane. I think we're going to just do the half one. I don't want to spend any uh, crystals on that if it's not worth it. And if I were to do that, I would probably go a really, really far ways until we couldn't push any further um, to be able to do that. But let's go ahead and use the same. Uh, oh, but we do have a, a quest for Falcon. So let's go ahead and equip that one. Equip that one. Let's do Kane and let's do Pixie. Let's do those four just because we do have a challenge with Falcon um, to actually go ahead and use his orbs uh, so many times. Welcome back, Masketeers. Let's see if the fates are in your favor. We do get to use the spin again. Um, so basically, as long as we get to the stage, like I think it was 55, as long as we get there, we get a spin, which is great. Um, so we got 20% what? Uh, Falcon buff, 20% damage and HP until next transcendence. Nice. I'm glad we went ahead and chose Falcon for this one. Um, here, what are we getting? We got a Pixie, 20% damage and HP buff. Nice. Perfect. And let's go ahead and use our final token here, getting us two. Wow. Uh, the software will disappear. Yeah, that's fine. What do we get here? 20% damage HP buff to Kane and a 10% damage and HP to everyone. Wow, that is really, really strong. That sounds really powerful. Pleasure doing business with you. Thank you for your time, man. Um, so let's go ahead and get everything started here. Let's go ahead and start pushing again. Starting over from the beginning here, but we're going to go ahead and discover a new relic here. Um, <clears throat> we have a couple that we could do. Uh, we got 100% spark drop plus 10% wisp main bonus. 70% spark drop plus 200 bar boss spark drop or... 100% HP plus 50% Guardian of Power main bonus. So these ones don't look as good. So I'm going to go ahead and try to re-roll uh, 25. I'm not going to spend 25 crystals on re-rolling, but neither Spark or HP. And I think at the moment, Sparks are probably going to be a little bit more helpful. Our HP, we don't really die that often. I'm not going to lie. Unless we haven't upgraded our Masketeers in a very long time, we don't really take that much damage. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and eliminate that one. And now it's either... You know what? Let's go ahead. Boss spark drop. This is going to be awesome. This one's going to be the one that I'm going to go for here. Getting us more sparks every uh, every uh, wraith we kill. And for the boss, is we're getting 200% uh, more, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and okay to that. There we go. We do have zero left over, actually. So that was a really, really good time to prestige. And I would have been upset if I would have waited or if I would have would have done it any earlier to be honest with you because we just got the right amount of uh, arcade to actually go ahead and discover a whole new artifact which is obviously super super important let's go ahead and do a couple level ups here let's get these up as high as we can at the moment here there we go we should be able to do quite a few level ups here really really early on we take a look at runes here we got two or we got 12.3 percent team damage um so we'll go ahead and see who we can throw that on if we go to falcon we can go and throw that on falcon awesome so we're going to go and equip that that one doesn't matter obviously who we equip it on because it's team damage so it's not a big deal but let's go ahead and activate some of these there and there we go guys i'm gonna have to go ahead and end today's video here i hope you guys have enjoyed another masketeers video and if you guys have any tips tricks or anything please let me know down below in the comments what i should be upgrading or what i should be doing different thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video and i will catch you guys in tomorrow's peace out